What's going on everyone? Welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to take you through some of the top trends for fall winter 2019. What's going on everyone? My name is Dylan and welcome to my YouTube channel. Now in this video, I'm going to take you through some of the top trends for fall and winter 2019. Now I'm going to take you through a range of different trends. Some of them are going to be like high-end designer runway trends and some of them are just going to be standard trends that a lot of us can incorporate into our wardrobes for fall and winter. In a lot of the fashion weeks around the world, in London, New York, Paris, Milan, you'll see that a lot of the trends that the high-end designers have are not always easy for like just normal people like me new to style because they are very like niche and they're like one-off pieces and they look really, really cool. And you've got to remember that a lot of designers are creating art with their work. So their pieces that their models and stuff are wearing, their pieces of art and their ways to, that for the designers to express themselves, they're not always things that me and you are gonna be walking down the street wearing. With that being said, I will take you through some of the top like high-end designer runway trends, which I think some of us can incorporate into our daily wardrobes. But along with that, I'm gonna take you through some trends which you can definitely incorporate into your fall and winter wardrobe. And you'll be seeing a lot of these trends in like when you go into your normal high street stores, so that when you go into the high street stores to update your wardrobe, you know what to look for and you know a little bit more about how to style things. So I'm gonna go through some of the high-end runway style trends first before I go on to like the normal kind of trends so I think I've got like five or six of them so I'll quickly run through those give you guys a bit of an idea of what's going on on runways and what type of things that you might be seeing in stores and the first thing I want to talk about is graphic knitwear so graphic bold print knitwear this is something that was big in t-shirts like this summer and last year and even shirts you were seeing like graphic tees, graphic shirts, and it's now transferred into knitwear. So you're gonna see a lot of knitwear with like bold designs and graphics on. Another big trend from the runways this year was all black suiting. So all black suiting, it sounds really simple, but if you just think of like Men in Black, if you watch the movie Men in Black, the new one, the old one, whichever one, you'll notice that the suits that they're wearing, black suit, black shoes, black sunglasses, it's just blacked out, everything they're wearing is black. That's also been something that's been seen a lot on the runways for fall and winter. There have been a lot of brands that have had their models walking the runway in all black suits. So they've had the black shoes, as I've said, black suits, black ties as well, and the black sunglasses. It's a really, really minimal look, but it's a really clean look as well. And it gives you that Men in Black slash security vibe. The next trend I want to talk to you guys about from the runway is the monochrome trend. Monochrome outfits I think look so dope and this is why I want to tell you guys about this because it's not something that just needs to stay on the runway and it's not something that's just for people with tons of money that are going to buy high-end designer clothes. You can incorporate the monochrome trend in your everyday outfits. Basically with the monochrome trend you're going to be wearing all of one colour throughout your outfit from head to toe and it looks really dope. Now when it comes to fall and winter, most people usually go for darker colours like you know your earthy tones, your blacks, dark greens, browns and stuff like that but you don't have to just wear those colours in fall and winter. I actually think it looks quite cool to wear lighter tones in fall and winter and if you incorporate the monochrome trend within this, it's going to look really stylish. You can see from some of the pictures next to me that there have been like beige outfits, all white outfits and stuff like that and if you can just get pieces from like any high street store that go well together all in one colour going to be much easier to match as well because they're all in one colour and you're going to create some really really cool standout outfits. Acid wash slash tie-dye is something that I spoke about in summer as well. Actually a few weeks ago I think I did a video which was like a top man haul where I got a couple of um, t-shirts from top man which were tie-dye t-shirts. Now this is something that I really really like. I think tie-dye and acid wash can look really cool. A lot of the high-end designer brands have gone like all out with it, so like they've got really bold and loud pieces and they look sick. But the thing is a lot of us are probably not going to rock those. But you can still get like acid wash and tie-dye into your wardrobe for fall and winter and it's really going to create some really nice contrasting outfits. Now this trend I'm going to talk to you about is quite a funny trend and the reason I wanted to throw it in is because if you've got some old stuff in your wardrobe that doesn't really match with other stuff in your wardrobe, that is exactly what this trend is. Now this trend is just mismatching patterns and prints. So you'll see like some, one kind of pattern and then a different pattern thrown on top or something. And they're completely different. They don't really go together, but it's a trend. So it's something that I've seen on a lot of runway shows. A lot of um, high-end designers are doing stuff like um, mismatching blazers and stuff or jackets. So like half of the jacket would be one pattern and half of the other jacket would be another pattern. Now this is probably something you're not going to be able to cop or find very easily without spending a lot of money. But you can incorporate this trend into your wardrobe by, if you've got some old pieces in your wardrobe, say you've got like a printed shirt and then you've got a printed jacket and they don't really go together, just chuck them together, create that mismatching trend and then just 
maybe style them with some like lighter colored jeans or some plain jeans to really keep the focus on the top half of the outfit and you can create some really cool styles. And the last of the runway trends that I want to talk to you guys about is the preppy trend. Now the preppy trend is one that I actually really like because a lot of the clothes that you'll see in this trend I think are really cool. So one thing that you see a lot of is like the v-neck uh, chunky knit jumpers. Now these jumpers remind me of like old school cricket jumpers. I used to play cricket back in the day so I used to always wear those jumpers. But these fashion ones look much better than the cricket ones I used to wear because they're actually more stylish. But the, the heavy chunky knit with the v-neck, I think it just looks so cool and you can create some really nice outfits with it. Now I'm going to take you through a few things which I've seen or I've seen in stores and I think are going to be big trends. They're not necessarily things you've seen on the runway but it's just a few things that I've seen going on in stores. A few things I've seen a lot of people rocking and these are things that I think will be really stylish for fall and winter this year. So the first thing that I'm going to talk to you guys about is overshirts. Now overshirts were big last year but they weren't super big, there was only a few people rocking them. An overshirt is basically like a shirt but it looks like a jacket, you might also hear them called shackets. So people like shirt and jacket, shacket, shackets, overshirts, they think something I think is going to be really big. They are really really stylish and you can rock them in so many different ways. Number two, now this trend was a massive trend last year and it's a trend that I really love, I still love it now, that is roll necks. If you haven't got roll necks in your wardrobe, I don't know what you're doing, you need to get some in multiple colours because when it comes to this time of the year, they're just so versatile. You can wear them in smart ways, you can wear them in like street style ways and they're so dope. They keep you warm as well, which is amazing. If it's cold, it's like having a permanent scarf around your neck. So you need to get some roll necks in your wardrobe. I think this year they're also going to carry on being super big. It's not something that your granddad rocks, it's something that's cool, stylish people wear, so make sure you get some roll necks in your wardrobe. The next big trend that I think that's going to be quite big this fall and winter is leather boots. Now you guys know how much I love Chelsea boots, I've got them in tons of colours and tons of styles because I love wearing them all year round and in fall and winter they're definitely going to come out again. The type of boots I'm talking about now are like leather boots, so like you know you get those chunky leather boots that are like proper winter boots and you'll see like the Doc Martin style boots. I think you're going to see them being worn a lot this fall and winter. Now this trend that I want to talk to you is kind of a two in one trend. It's a couple of materials I really want to talk to you about. And I think you're going to be seeing a lot of clothing in these materials. And that is velvet and corduroy. Now corduroy is like, corduroy and velvet, like these two materials are kind of always on trend. You'll always see like a few pieces around with them. But velvet was like very predominant at, on runways. And I think you're going to see a lot more velvet stuff. Like people were rocking head to toe velvet suits, but corduroy as well is something that's also going to be really big. And they're both really, really nice materials. You can create super dope outfits. Corduroy, you can get trousers in them, you can get jackets and overshirts. It's going to be a big trend this year and I think you should definitely get some of that in your wardrobe. Now the final thing that I want to say and tell you guys is I always do like these trend videos a few times a year every time the new season comes in but I always think that you should just wear whatever you feel comfortable in and whatever you think your fashion and style is because that's like one of the main things about fashion it's not about following trends and just copying what everyone else does it's about having your own personal unique touch on it and whatever you think looks cool whatever you think what you want to put together and wear that day that's what you should wear. So don't worry about, oh, is this on trend, is this not on trend? If you think something looks cool and you think something looks stylish, just wear it because at the end of the day, that is what fashion is. It's an expression of your own style and being unique. But that's all from this video. I hope I've given you guys some insight into some of the big trends for this fall and winter so that you guys can like, when you go shopping and stuff, you'll be able to spot things and see what's going on. Over the coming weeks, I'll probably have some hauls and styling videos on how to style some of these trends. I'll pick out stuff from some of the high street stores that I think are dope for fall and winter. If you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. But until next week, that's all from this video. Peace.